Yes, yeah, so what's Yeah, what's the plan? I told you it's a hard no. Right in the holes, right after them, 
and they come out, and I mean, they just have yeah, a pretty good lunch. Yeah, yeah. It really is. It's horrible. But that's what they were bred for. So you have to have an understanding, at least to a degree. Same thing with people who take home oh, oh, shepherds oh, oh. now. Was that a head? <laughs> that was a head. Well, the thing is, it's a head. They're fine. Is that like a head? I think it is. Yeah, it's like Maybe I'll not be done from doing that. I do. That's probably the same. When people get shepherds and they don't know anything about German shepherds, yeah. that's why you get so many naughty shepherds that show up at the shelter mm -hmm. because they had no proper training. Mm -hmm. um, huskies, oh, he's got such a beautiful mask. Yep. What are you going to do when he starts climbing your eight foot wall? What, what are your plans for that? Plan? Exactly. But that's what happens. People fall in love with how a dog looks. Exactly. They don't pay attention. You're going to get a working breed dog. You got to make sure that you give them a job, even yeah. if it's yeah. even if it's just carrying like a like a, a doggy vest that you can put. Bottles of water in when you're taking them on tights and walks, but they need a job. You know, like, and when you put that on them, their their whole demeanor changes. They, they know they're in they, a job. They know, like, I'm working now. I'm carrying my rocks and my vest. You do that? We did that with the border collie, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, but they have to have a job. They, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. And that's the thing is, people don't understand. They come to a rescue like, or to a shelter like Pack. And all they're doing, they're looking at the dog. They're I know. It visually appeals to them. That, that's uh -huh. great. But if like, you're not prepared, you're going to go And sometimes you don't know. I mean, we had a dog that um, was at the shelter several years ago um, when we were still volunteering. The dog was for all intents and purposes was a red pit bull. That's what he looked like. And they needed this com this organization that they did. <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, they don't have this much room life. in the in third and a half kennel in the shelter, so they don't have this much room in the shelter. Where's all going to stop? They're just laying in the way of So I said you don't need TV. No. If you bring these two home, there's oh different channels. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right now, you've got ESPN. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sports channel. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is really fun. You need to win it all out. Um, well, and then they'll crash, and I mean they'll crash. So this dog. So there was a research group, um, the lead research was out of ASU actually, and they had come through, they, they did this massive project around the country where they went into different uh, either high volume rescues or shelters, mm -hmm. and they did DNA tests on hundred dogs. And what they were doing was, it was a, it was a study to see if shelter and rescue staff get what they think the breeds are based on what they look like, if they get it right. Well, the average was 85 times out of 100, they're wrong for the predominant breed that they think the dog is. And that one quarter of 1% of the dog's genes actually are what shows on the outside. Yes. And so oh, wow. people are basing choices of whether or not they're gonna bring a dog home on how dog looks, and they're missing all kinds of other stuff. So the interesting thing was when they came to Tucson, they, they did this whole big presentation for us. And um, as part of the thank you for that, they gifted Pack with 100 DNA tests. Cool. And so the next 100 dogs that came through, well, as it turned out, this red, this red pit bull, yeah. who was crazy weird, was one of the dogs that happened to be there who happened cool. to come into the shelter during that time. I used his paperwork when I did my dog training classes for a couple of years afterwards. Hi. Because he looked like kind of a Eighty-five percent. I think it's eighty-five percent boxer. And that's like the, the behavior, the, the other like that he was looking for, and then I don't know. But his behavior, once we knew him, just a boxer, just that crazy. And he had that little person on color. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But his head was all big. Exactly. A little bit of color. And you know, boxers. When you think about it, they're a little taller already, like here. Yeah. But muscular. You know, that, that build is very similar. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's so young. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, you should do that. It's a hat thing. I'm telling you, I'm just going to smell another hat. Mom, And yet, the whole time, just the old guy. Hey, buddy. He's a boy. That's not the Oh, 